On February 28th, the Stockton City Council will be asked to take various actions that are recommended by staff consultants. The first major action will be to correct for various bookkeeping errors and various fiscal management practices that we've uncovered this last year. We're going to ask them to make large adjustments to this year's budget, largely due to correcting these past mistakes. This will have the effect of emptying or stripping Stockton's cupboards bare. There will be no room for financial uh, surprises during the balance of this fiscal year. In order to balance this year's budget, there's also a recommendation to suspend bond payments that are due this spring of this year that amount to about $2 million. We're going to ask the council to discuss and accept an independent review of our finances by a third party. We're going to ask them to authorize a continuation of a fiscal emergency that has been with us for a couple of years. And then finally, we're going to authorize, ask them to authorize to begin an organized financial restructuring process that we refer to as AB 506. The question on a lot of people's minds is how did we get here? How did Stockton end up here? There is no one event, no one decision, no one person that you can attribute Stockton's finance situation to. It's an accumulation of things that have occurred over the last 20 years. The first is an unsustainable retiree health program that got its birth in the 1990s. And the last are poor fiscal management practices that we've uncovered this last year. We've, what we have identified is the city has not reconciled its cash for months, if not years. The city has not managed its accounts receivables. And we're going to have to write off around $2.8 million of receivables that we were counting on as assets. And then we wrote some checks in redevelopment where we did not have the cash to support those checks. In my 32 years of managing finances for various local governments, I've never heard of a situation like this. I have not seen a situation like this. We anticipate a $20 million deficit in the general fund next year. And that's the best case scenario. The worst case is around 38 to $40 million. And that's primarily driven by if we lose in court as a result of litigation with the unions, we would have to turn off the concessions that we've achieved through fiscal emergencies, and we would have to pay everybody. And contrary to what you may have been reading about, Tuesday is a request to begin the AB 506 process. We're not asking the City Council to file Chapter 9. This, this will be the first time that a city has employed AB 506. It forces what the statute calls local public entities, but let's say cities, to go through a mediation process before they run out and file a Chapter 9 bankruptcy case. The process is initiated by notifying the interested parties. Interested parties are defined in the statute essentially as those creditors with claims in excess of $5 million. The city has a number of creditors who are owed in excess of $5 million. There are a number of bond issuances, as you know. In many of the cases, there's credit insurance. And the insurer is ultimately the one who has to write the checks if the city doesn't make good on the bond payments. So those parties will be at the table, and there's about five of them. Once the mediator is selected, then it really becomes his or her show about what happens next. But presumably the mediator will call all the parties together for an initial meeting and then set the ground rules for what could be up to the next 60 days. At the end of 60 days, if the parties haven't reached an agreement that would enable the city to avoid filing a bankruptcy case, the city then may file a bankruptcy case if it feels necessary. If during the mediation process, the city essentially runs out of money. There is what the statute doesn't call, but all the people who've read it call the, the emergency off-ramp. 
That's the second alternative. And that can happen during the course of the mediation or with no mediation at all. But of course, again, the city intends to initiate the mediation. The city council, after a publicly noticed hearing, can file a declaration that finds two things. There must be findings that the financial state of the city jeopardizes the health, safety, or well-being of its residents, absent a Chapter 9 filing, and that the city is or will be unable to pay its bills within the next 60 days. So if there's a fiscal crisis and you can't afford to wait through the whole mediation process, then there's a way after a publicly noticed uh, meeting, the city council can then declare uh, that bankruptcy is necessary and file a bankruptcy case. We see no viable alternative to restructuring our finances. And I also think that 20 years of fiscal mismanagement should not be blamed on this current city council. We want to provide for a healthier future. We want to stop obsessing over Stockton's finances. We cannot continue to degrade our community and degrade our city by continuing to reduce services. And we've got to share the burden among creditors, and we think the AB 506 process is the best alternative.